And a good afternoon, baseball fans. We welcome you one more time. Championship Sunday here, the title match, the show, the main event. Coming to you live here from East Cobb Complex. My name is Chris Allard. I'll make the call. The 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional NIT here, the 13U group, ready to get after it here this afternoon. Two teams standing. The EC Astros Orange Club going against the ZT National Prospects Club. And the ZT team comes into the tournament here on Sunday as the number one seed. Astros playing through, giving themselves an opportunity for the title as well. Two good clubs. A lot of familiar faces in the crowd. And, of course, as players playing on different teams with one another, a lot of the young players playing together on the opposite teams now. But to start things off, the prospects going against the Astros. And we'll get you the defensive set here to start things off. For the ZT Prospects national team, another direction coach, Carlos Avila. On the hill to start things off, the right-handed hurler, Hibiki Zuzuki, the pitcher of record. He'll take things there. Behind the plate in the tail, Monster Victoria. He'll do the catching. He'll manage things at the club. Over on the first base side, Brody Taylor. He will take care of business in the first base position. Over on the second base spot, Ivan Ortiz. Ortiz having a good tournament as well. On the third base side, Easton O'Quinn. O'Quinn's bat's been hot for him this week. And at shortstop, the speedster Charlie Blaylock will take care of business. That's your infield. On the left field side, the big man Trey Lawrence in center field. Carter Nash rounding things out over on the right side is Dre Murakami. To start things off for the EC Astros Orange under the direction of head coach Davis. We'll lead things off with House Wright. We'll get things started off here this afternoon. RJ, our head umpire, he will manage the game. He'll call balls and strikes. What he says will go. Working along his partner, Chris, down on the infield. We're ready to go. Championship Sunday, the show, the final match. The Astros and the prospects getting after it. And Suzuki starts things out with a strike. The count is 0-1. House Wright, a left-handed hitter for the club. House Wright plays shortstop for the club. A left-handed hitter, righty-lefty matchup. Suzuki to deal the 0-1 pitch. Ball just missing on the outer half. And the count goes to one and one. Sunshine, blue skies. It's just absolutely perfect here as Suzuki shakes off. Victorio sets up the one one pitch. Ball's hit to the right side, deep to the right side, and that ball is fair. House right will round first on his way to second, and he's on his way to third. He's going to go for three. The throw is in and not in time. So House Wright starts things off with a triple. And like that, the energy is flying here at East Cobb. Stepping in Hoffman. Hoffman, the two hitter, plays third base for the club. No outs. House Wright. With the triple over on the third base side. Pitch on the way. Curve ball. In for the strike. And a ball upstairs. The count goes even to one and one. And swing and a miss on the outside part of the plate. Suzuki will work here at a ball and two strikes. The Hibiki, the one two count. House right over on the third base side. House right, the leadoff batter gets a triple deep to the right corner. Suzuki from the stretch. The one two pitch. And low in the zone on the outer half. Hoffman lays off. The count goes to two and two. And Chopper 
Ball is fouled. Well, the 2-2 count holds here. A long hold for Suzuki. Ball's back up the middle. Karam's off the glove. Suzuki's going to not have a play there. And like that, down the line with a single and an RBI. So the Astros, they strike first. And they've got 1-0. Bradford comes in. And a strike on the inner half. So Suzuki will work ahead. The count is 0-1. Hoffman on board with a single and an RBI after a triple by Housewright. High fly ball. Out of play to the left side. The count is 0-2. Championship matchup here between two outstanding organizations. The UC Astros Orange going against the ZT National 13U team. Sunshine right on us here. It's time of day. It's directly into the field. Right at home plate. Hoffman over at first. Pitch on the way. Suzuki high fastball. Bradford chases it upstairs, and Habiki will get the K. Stepping in, Maddox Porter. Throw over to the first base side. Brody Taylor lays on the tag. Hoffman gets back. Curveball, good looking pitch there in for the strike. Porter lays off. Maddox played for the ZT National 13 team, played at 12 years, and some 13 years. Fine young man, great family. Another one of those relationships across baseball. Pitch on the inner half, Suzuki. Counts 0 and 2. Hoffman at first. Taylor holds him on from the stretch. The 0-2 pitch, just low on the outer half, and the count goes to one and two. Throw back to first, a missed throw there. And thrown away like that, possibly on his way to three, and that'll be in for two bags there. So like that, a miscue on a pick play over to first base. So Hoffman ends up at third. So a one-two count, Suzuki throws over to Taylor, and it gets away into the backside. So a one-two count. Runner at third and Hoffman, and Porter's looking at a ball and two strikes. So the prospect's off to a rough start here. Here in the top of the first. They've got one out on the books as everybody's just settling in. Porter in the box, ready to go. ball swung on, fouled straight back. And the count holds it a ball in two strikes. Hey, 
Back up the middle. Playlock with a good grab. He'll play the out. Maddox Porter. He'll get the RBI. And they bring across their second run. So they get the out. Charlie Blaylock makes the play across the deck. But they'll pick up their second run here in the top of the first with two outs. Brown will step in with two outs on the book. And a well hit ball, that ball deep, no play there. And like that, A.B. looking for two, he'll round deep into the hole and come back to first. So the Astros getting on board early here. Stephen Meyer steps in, he'll come in as the D.H. Fastball up, missing. And the count is 1-0. and oh. Pass the down over on the first base side. Fastball up with Hibiki. The count is 2-0. and oh. Well, the prospects. Here in the top of the first. Stephemeyer steps out, he'll lock back in. Suzuki from the stretch. The 2-0 pitch. Curveball in for the strike. The count goes to two and one. Brown over on the first base side. Brody Taylor holds him off. Brown with good speed. Victorio sets up. Chopper to the third base side. O'Quinn's going to go the long way across the first. And a good pick there. That'll do it. Three outs, but not before. The EC Astros, Orange, they get on board first. It's 2-0. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Championship matchup, the 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional NIT here at East Cobb Complex. We will be right back. Well, as we get ready to start the bottom half here of this championship matchup between two excellent organizations, the EC Astros Orange going against the ZT Prospects national team. On the defensive side, your pitcher of record, Nichols, will handle things there. Bradford will be your catcher over on the first base side. Porter in the four spot will be Adams. Over in the five spot, Hoffman. Six spot, House right at shortstop. Over in left field in the seven spot, Smith. In the eight spot, Brown. Nine spot, Myers rounding things out. Charlie Blaylock will lead it off. We're ready to go here in the bottom of the first. And a strike on the outside. Blaylock takes a look. 
count is 0-1. Ball missing outside, count goes even to one and one. And a strike in the lower part. And the count goes to one and two, so good location there for Nichols as he gets the low part. And the ball's up and out. The count goes even to two and two. And the ball's up. Just outside, the count goes full of three and two to Charlie Blaylock. So a full count, says our head umpire. RJ behind the plate. Working with Chris on the infield. The 3-2 pitch. And swing and a miss. Charlie Blaylock will have a seat. Stepping in number two hitter. Number four monster, Victoria. So Victoria steps in with one out. High fly ball, popped up, out of play. Fouled straight back right behind us here, right behind broadcast area and home plate. And a strike just missing. Looked as though it might have been a good pitch, but just outside, count is one and one. One one count. Ball is low, bounces at the plate. The count's two and one. So Nichols. I'm gonna go out and check on the pitcher. It looks like he's okay. The count is two and one. Victoria locked and loaded, ready to go. Nichols with the 2-1 pitch. Chopper to the first base side, a routine play. Porter will handle it himself, and they get their second out. So two down, bases empty for Easton O'Quinn. O'Quinn <laughs> hits in the three spot for the national team. And a hard hit ball, house right, a little bobbly, recovers a high throw, and in time. So Porter goes upstairs to get a high throw after a bobble in the shortstop position. But down the line quickly is Easton O'Quinn. So O'Quinn gets on with a single on a high throw. And now stepping in is Trey Lawrence, so two outs here. Prospects trying to get things moving for themselves as we're in the bottom of the first inning. Ball's outside. Throw back to first. So Bradford comes out of the pop quickly. Quinn gets on board with a single. Ball missing outside. Count is one and zero. Oh. Porter holding on O'Quinn over on the first base side for the Astros. And the ball's up and in, fastball. So Nichols lets that fly. And we'll work behind here at the count of two and zero oh to the batter Trey Lawrence. Lawrence hitting in the four spot. On deck, Brody Taylor. And 
strike call there. Lawrence takes a look. The count is two and one. Bradford goes out to the hill to talk to Nichols. And a visit out to the bump. It looks like there might be something going on with Nichols. He doesn't, looks like something happening there, but nonetheless, we'll check on him. And RJ, the head umpire, walks out as well to see what's going on. I think they're going to count that as a visit. So RJ makes the call there, and we'll reshuffle the deck and ready to go here. 2-1 count. O'Quinn at first. Porter holds him on. Nichols from the stretch takes a look over at first. And a high pop-up behind us and out of play. So a foul ball and a 2-2 count. Time is called. Not sure what's happening here with the head coach, but nonetheless, this might be second visit here. So RJ ain't gonna have to walk off the bump now. That's gonna possibly be it for him. Yeah, he looks like he's in a lot of pain possibly here. So that's gonna do it here for Nichols, unfortunately. So Nichols will walk off. Off to a decent start. So they'll replace Nichols and they'll bring a player out of the pen. And we'll let you know who that is here in just a moment. So a pitching change, Nichols hope he's okay. And taking over, Newby Highland. Newby had an opportunity, played for the Prospects national team for a while. Great family, his dad, local barber. You got the barber in the house, baseball barber, Newby's pops. Good man and a good family as Newby gets some warm up tosses. The Astros and the pitching replacement here will be ready to go. Well, folks, while you've got an opportunity, and if you had an opportunity yet to play at East Cobb, you might want to do so throughout the 2024 season or within your area. Super Regional NITs, the winners of these events, get an automatic bid into the 2024 PGI National Championship. That event will be hosted at the end of the season in 2024 as we're well underway with baseball. Travel ball and a lot of the high school teams competing, getting close to finishing up their seasons, as well as Major League getting underway and travel ball. A lot of young players getting their reps in through the fall and early spring season here. Of course, enjoying a great weekend for the 2024 East Cobb Super Regional NIT here. It's been a good one, down to the final two. Both teams working hard to get to this point on Championship Sunday. As Highland takes a couple more tosses. And we will be ready to go. RJ will get it into play. We'll reset the table and we will rock and roll. So a 2-2 count with two out. Correction, full count. So a 3-2 count, full count here. So Newby steps in for Nichols. 3-2 count, Easton O'Quinn at first. Maddox Porter holding him on. So 3-2 pitch. And that ball is crushed. That ball is deep to the left side, and that ball is gone. You could hear it off the barrel. Trey Lawrence goes deep to the left side and goes yard. O'Quinn will touch home, and Trey Lawrence with a monster shot over the left field wall 
a two-run homer. So the prospects on one swing even things up, and it's a 2-2 tie here in the bottom of the first. So Trey Lawrence goes deep, and Brody Taylor will step in. Brody Taylor looks at a ball low in the zone. The count is 1-0. Highland works from the stretch. And a well hit ball to the right side. That could drop in and it does for a single. Brody Taylor gets on board there. So Dre Murakami will step in as the prospects getting their shot here on the offensive side in the bottom of the first inning. A tough situation for Nichols. Looked like he might have been struggling somewhere along his body and getting pulled out. It's a hard role to come in for Newby to fill the shoes, but doing a nice job so far. Ball's up one. It's a hard role, but you come out and you got to be ready no matter what. So Highland settling in. Taylor at first. Two outs. Porter holds him on. Righty lefty matchup. Murakami. Back to the middle, a little trouble off the mound. And that ricochets off a of Highland there. And Murakami gets on board. So runners at first and second. And that'll bring up Aaron Ramirez. As I mentioned, Early on, you hate to see situations where pitchers have got to be shuffled so quickly. And especially if you're in the pen just trying to get some tosses, you're not quite ready to come in. But Newby doing his thing here. And a ball missing just on the outer half. Count is 1-0. and Taylor at second, house right in his back pocket. Newby works from the stretch here with runners at first and second. And hit by pitch there. Ramirez takes one between the numbers, and that'll load the bases up. So Ramirez gets hit by pitch. He'll get on board, and that'll bring up Carter Nash. Carter Nash ready to go. And a strike there. The count is 0-1. And a good pitch on the outside. So right like that. So Carter Nash is behind it in those two count. He's got the bases juiced. An opportunity here with two outs. And a ball outside. The count goes to one and two. A high leverage moment here, certainly with the bases loaded. It's a two-two tie. Trey Lawrence taking care of that for the prospects. The one-two pitch. And a ball pulled foul to the third base side and out of play. So Nash gets on it. And he pulls it foul. Ramirez, Murakami, and Taylor, first, second, and third base. Time is called. RJ grants it at home plate. Nash steps out. He'll reload. Newby locks down on the rubber. The one two pitch again. High fly ball on the infield. Everybody making a move for it. And Newby makes the grab. 
And they'll strand three, but they pick up two to go even money here on a long ball to left field by Trey Lawrence. It's a 2-2 tie. We'll head to the top of the second. We're ready to go back to live action here. Starting things off, Easton Astros, correction, EC Astros Orange will go 7 8 9. Myers steps in, the seven hitter. And Suzuki to deal, pitch on the way. And the ball missing outside, the count's 1 0. Suzuki comes inside, almost hit Myers, and the count's 2-0. and oh. Here we gotta get him out for you. Oh, you, you sure? Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind. Here. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get one more for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you good. You good. You good. There you are. Yeah, you're good. We're out of baseballs now. Unless you got some freshies hiding somewhere. <laughs> you're good. Swing there, cut, low part of the zone. Now it goes to two and one. Breaking ball, just missing there. Three one count to the batter Myers, seven hitter. Myers plays right field for the Astros. The 3-1 pitch on the way. Inside, ball four. So Suzuki puts Myers on, and that'll bring up Highland. Highland taking over for Nichols on the mound. As what I've gathered from information from some of the folks is hurt his back. And again, as a pitcher, that's not going to play well. So they pulled him out, and Highland took over. He's in the box here as the eight hitter. Myers at first. Curveball, swing and a miss there. The count is 0-1. Breaking ball outside, missing. And the count goes even at one and one. <laughs> and 
Ryan, a good pitch on the inside. And a ball called there, so the count is two and one. Curveball, strike called on the outer half, and the count goes to two and two. So Highland with a 2-2 count on him. Myers over on the first base side. Brody Taylor holds him on. Suzuki working from the stretch. Suzuki checks over to the first base side. Pitch on the way. Chopper. Blaylock. He goes one there. And all the way across, not in time, safe down the line. They couldn't turn two, but they got the advancing runner. Simpson will come in and hit in the nine spot where Nichols would be. And looks at a ball. The count is one and oh. And swing and a miss there. Good movement there, breaking ball. Count goes to one and one. So Suzuki gets one back. And another visit out to the infield umpire by Coach Davis. Time is called at home plate. Simpson steps out. And a ball outside, missing there. A 2-1 count to Simpson. Good one over on the first base side, throw over. Bounce there at first base, Taylor kept it out in front. Stroud went over there on the first base side. And fastball outside. Fly ball, fouled off to the right side. Count goes full of three and two. We're at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Curveball, strike call there and Suzuki. Dirty one there, gets the strikeout. Good one stays at first, stepping in number 24. The batter, Smith. Roddy lefty matchup, two outs. In the top of the second, a 2-2 tie. Count is 1-0. And the ball's cut foul to the left side and out of play. Now it goes even to one and one for Suzuki. 
On the batter, Brown. Correction, Smith. Ten hitter. Good one over on the first base side. Curveball hit to the right side. They were shading the other way, and with good speed going around to third. So the runners are at the corners. Smith gets a knock to the right side, gets on board with a single. And the prospect's working for two outs. Top of the order, House Wright will step in. Lefty matchup here, Suzuki and House right. Victorio sets up, pitch on the way, good looking pitch, locates the outside part of the plate. A work ahead in the count is 0 and 1. So one one count. Time is called. House right steps out. Shallow hit, one hopper. Blaylock's going to have to get rid of it quickly. And a good pick. It gets the out. And Charlie Blaylock with a good throw across the table. And the out is made. So Charlie Blaylock makes the play, and the Astros coach thought might have been safe on the pick by Brody Taylor, but the out will stand. They'll turn the side. They strand two. It's a 2-2 tie. We'll be right back. We're ready to go here. The bottom of the second inning, a 2-2 tie. Good matchup as it should be in the championship title. Astros and the BP Prospects national team going after each other here. And stepping in is Ivan Ortiz. They go 9-10-1 here in the top of two. Highland to deal, pitch on the way. Highland comes inside. And the count is 1-0. Two O count. Awesome. 
to a 3-0 count. Ball's up, ball four, so a four-pitch walk for Ivan Ortiz as he gets on board. And Mamba Bryant Jew will step in. Ball is up. Count is two and oh. So a visit out to the mound from Coach Davis. <coughs> and a little conversation down to the third base side with Coach Avila. And as promised, a good matchup here. The 2024 season is well upon us. If you haven't had opportunities to compete yet, check things out within your region. Go to perfectgame.org. And proud sponsor of the East Cobb Baseball Complex here at Oakley. Also brought to you by the good folks from Yeti and Crunch Hydrate. So a 2 and 0 count. And a strike on the inside part of the plate. Mamba shows bunt. He came back. Perfect pitch for Highland. As he gets the inner half called, the count is two and one. And a ball there. And a little bit of an impact behind the plate. Coach checking on his player. Bradford catching for the club, kind of shaking that one off. Bradford shakes it off. It's a tough gig behind home play, catching the high impact position in the baseball field. Mama steps back in. Ortiz at first. Porter holds him on. Shallow lead, nothing significant there. Runner on the move. Throw down to two. A one hopper is in time. The tag is on. And he's out. So a throw out for Bradford, and Ortiz will have a seat. So the runner gets picked there. So Ready to go, Charlie Blaylock. Fly ball, house right under it, should make the grab, that'll do it. Well, the 2-2 tie holds. They throw the runner out. So the prospects will get on the defensive side. We're through two complete frames and a 2-2 tie. We'll head to the top of the third. Hope you're enjoying this championship matchup. The 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional NIT here at East Cobb.
So Ivan Ortiz will take over for Hibiki Suzuki. Ortiz, right-handed pitcher for the club as Victorio sends it down to second base. Charlie Blaylock makes the grab. And we will be ready to roll here in the top of the third, a 2-2 tie. The Astros will go 2-3-4, starting off with Hoffman, the two-hitter. As promised, a good matchup always. You get the best two standing here. Vying and fighting it out for a title. It's taken a lot to get here. Well earned by both squads. We're ready to go, Ortiz to deal. And the count is 1-0. A 2-0 count. Hoffman lays off. I think the singles last at bat. Chopper foul to the third base side. Count is two and one. And bailing out there, no hit there. The count is three and one. So Hoffman dropped himself in the box there, three one. Third ball, getting away from him there. And ball swung on. Hoffman takes a cut. Fouls it off to the right side. The count will go full at three and two. Ortiz settling in. Takes Hoffman to a full count. The three two pitch on the way. Popped up on the infield. Ramirez chasing the ball from second base. He had to take a little bit of a route to his left, but. He'll take the out. Bradford steps in with one out here in the top of the third. Curveball on the inside. Just missing Bradford. He kind of arched his way out of the ball there. The count's 1-0. Oh. Ortiz just trying to get better location. Comes in high and tight there on the inner half. Bradford takes a cut. The count goes even to 1-1. One and one. And fastball on the outside part of the plate locates there. The count is one and two. So Ortiz decides to go outside. Gets a strike called there as Bradford takes a look. On deck, Maddox Porter. Time is called. It's granted at home plate. Bradford steps out. Side pitch, Bradford takes a swing, and Ortiz will get the strikeout. They've got two outs on the books here, and Maddox Porter will step in. Porter hits in the four spot. Count is one and oh. Ball comes in from the opposite field. And 
Again, a good pitch on the outside, just missing. Ball missing there. Real count to Porter. Fastball outside misses low. Porter gets on board with a walk. So Porter gets on board, and that'll bring up Ashton Brown. Porter with a decent lead, throw over, tag is on. Infield umpire, Chris says, no, you're back in time. Brody Taylor holding him on, Ortiz works from the stretch. Ball swung on, Brown takes a cut, fouls it off. The count is 0-1. Ball swung on, fouled off. Taylor rolls off to his left and it's out of play. So the count is 0-2 to Brown with two outs here. Porter over on the first base side for the Astros. He got on board via a walk. Ortiz, the 0-2 pitch, runner goes. Ball's hit center field in the gap. And Carter Nash will bring it in. They get it in quickly. And Brown gets a single. And Porter ends up at third. So runners at the corners for the Astros. With two outs, Chuck Meyer will step in, comes in as the DA. Yeah, they tied up with two outs. Good job, we got the run. We got the run. So the Astros runner from third will cross before the out was made. So they'll pick up the third run, but they get the out chasing down AB on first. So Highland will stay on the hill for the Astros as we go to the bottom of the third inning. As the Astros lead this one, three to two. So we're ready to go here in the bottom of the third. Coach Avila down the line to third base. Ray over on the first base side, coaching first for the club. And 
Monster Victoria will step in. And the ball's outside. The count is 1 and 0. Oh. And a pop up here. Out of play. And the count goes to 1 and 1. Swing and a miss there. Island gets that through. Count goes to one and two. And a well hit ball deep. Foul ball to the right side. So Victorio punches that one out of the yard, but foul. And strike three on the inner half of the plate. Victoria will have a seat. Highland gets the K. Stepping in, Easton O'Quinn. Fastball up, the count's 1 and 0. Oh. And again, Hyland with the fastball goes to the outer part of the plate. O'Quinn having nothing doing with it as he lays off. A powerful hitter. O'Quinn's had a good tournament. He can go deep. You got to be careful about bringing him in high and tight. He can pull the trigger at any time. And a ball to the middle. And no play there. Down the line quickly is O'Quinn. Second baseman, good effort. But just losing his footing there, sliding on the defensive play. O'Quinn gets on board with a single. Trey Lawrence steps in with one out. O'Quinn's got quick feet. Maddox Porter holds him on at first base. Ball's outside. And the count is 1-0. And, and a strike on the outside. Lawrence takes a look. And the count goes even to one and one here. Bottom of the third inning, 3-2 Astros moved ahead. In their last half, pitch on the way, balls up and out. The count goes to two and one. Balls low, 3-1 count. Lawrence lays off there. He didn't bite, looked as though he wanted to pull the trigger. Ball fell off the plate there, and the count is 3-1. and one. And high fastball, ball four. So Trey Lawrence will get a freebie 90 feet down to first base on a walk, and that'll bring up Brody Taylor. So O'Quinn moves over to second. House right <laughs> playing in tight on the shortstop side. And one out here for Brody Taylor. Taylor, first base side, that gets through. Fair ball. So rounding, coming home is O'Quinn. And a throw to second base. 
is safe. So safe at second. That ball's foul, man. That ball's foul, dude. So Brody Taylor ends up at second base. He gets in with a double. Trey Lawrence is over at third, and they pick up their third run. O'Quinn comes across. Umpire called it fair down the first base side. Brings in Dre Murakami with one out. Murakami pops it up. High fly ball to the left side. A little bit of a shuffle in the outfield, and that ball drops. So here comes Lawrence and Murakami into second base. Brody Taylor moves over to third. So the prospects pick up their fourth. And Aaron Ramirez will step in. So Murakami at second, Aaron Ramirez will step in. Brody Taylor at third. And a fastball in for a strike. Highland works ahead. The count is 0-1. Ball's up. Count goes to 1-1. One one. Quick visit out to the hill. Bradford is talking to Highland. Make sure they don't get anything crossed up here with the batter Ramirez. At the plate at a 1-1 count with one out. Bottom three, prospects move ahead 4-3. Ramirez, right side, that gets through. That'll score one in Brody Taylor. They're going to round third, coming in home, and safe at home. So good speed there in Murakami, so they pick up two runs on Ramirez's single to the right side. So 6-3 prospects brings up Carter Nash. Nash to the left side, goes to the left field fence, into third base with good speed. They're going to run him, and they'll check him up there. Ramirez looked like he was rounding. Coach Avila was on the move to send him, but he shut him down. A good recovery and a quick cut back in. Powell strike grabbed the ball, and ending up at seconds, Carter Nash. So Nash gets a double out of it. Ivan Ortiz will step in with one out. Ball's outside, the count's one and oh. And a strike on the outside part of the plate. Highland locates there. Good looking pitch. Gets the outer half. Ortiz takes a look. The count goes even to one and one. Time is called. On the field. Baseball coming in from the other field right next to it. And a good pitch there for Highland. 
Ortiz takes a look. The count's one and two. Highland ahead here in the count. And a ball hit hard to the third base side. That will get through. Ramirez will score, rounding home. They're going to have to cut it off. And over at second, they've got him tied up. But the run comes across. And they're running him down back here. So Ortiz is going to get tagged out. But two come over. Ortiz is out. They bring two across. The bases are cleared with two outs for Bryant Chu. Mamba will step in. Strike call. Highland works ahead. The count is 0-1. Count goes even to one and one. High fly ball, shallow. Second baseman calls it shortstop. House right backs it up and a good grab. So Easton makes the grab. They got the out, but the prospects add on. It's eight three. We'll head to the top of the fourth. Well, we're ready to go here in the top of the fourth inning. We are through three complete frames. The ZT Prospects 13U National Team leading this one 8-3 over the EC Astros Orange Club. As the Prospects were able to move ahead in the bottom half of three. We're at the top of four. We're ready to go. Ortiz stays on the hill. And we'll start out with a strike. The count is 0-1. Pepper Meyer, they go six, seven, eight. Meyer's on deck here in the top of four. Curveball, good looking pitch there for Ortiz. And he'll put the second strike out on the books here at 0 and 2 to Shepper Meyer. Ortiz steps off. Victoria will resend the pitching call. And outside, the count is one and two. Curveball, swing and a miss, that'll do it. He'll get the K, Ortiz will sit Sheppemeyer for the first out here in the top of the fourth. Stepping in 
Myers, the seven hitter. Myers, right fielder for the Astros. Fastball upstairs, the count goes to 1 and 0. Curveball missing there, 2 0 count. And outside part of the plate, just missing out. And the count is 3-0. and oh. So Ortiz behind here, the batter Myers for the Astros, the seven hitter. And strike there right up the middle. Myers taking all the way, still a hitter's count. Fastball, outer half, locates there. Myers thought he was on board and jumped a little early. The count goes full at three and two. Heading towards the 7 p.m. hour, Eastern Standard Time. And a good pitch on the outside and missing. Ortiz thought he had him. He had just called the same pitch, which was actually a little further out. But Nonetheless, on board. So a walk there. So Highland will step in with a runner at first in Myers. And one out here in the top of the fourth. High fly ball, Ramirez gets under it, should have the play made there, and he does. The two outs. Simpson will come in. And like that, Ortiz hit by pitch, puts Simpson on. And runners at first and second for Brown. Correction Smith. Smith got on board last time and Coach Ronnie having a slow walk out to the bump. That might be it for Ortiz, or at least a visit to slow things down. So they'll have their conference. 8-3 prospects over the Astros line. Championship Sunday here, the 2024 Super Regional NIT brought to you by Perfect Games. If you haven't had your summer schedule lined up yet, check things out at perfectgame.org. Showcases, different tournaments around the country, perfectgame.org. So RJ, our head umpire, reloaded with baseballs. We're ready to go. He'll put it in play. Runners at first and second. We're ready to go. Brown, the 10 hitter. Righty lefty matchup. Blaylock in tight over on the shortstop side. And Ortiz will step off after Coach Ronnie has to visit. No action down in the bullpen for the prospects as Victoria walks out to have a quick word. So Myers is at second, and Simpson's over on the first base side. Blaylock, I said, shuffling in tight. Ortiz will take a look, and he'll step off again. So a little bit of a chess game going on here. 
as Brown steps back in. Two outs, top of four. And right up the middle, and rounding third, it's going to be a long throw in. They've got a good throw right there. The tag is on. And Bowles tied up. At So a bang-bang play at home and a deep throw from center field for Carter Nash. And the tag was laid on, but safe at home. So the Astros will pick up the fourth run there. It's 8-4. Time is called at the plate. Stepping out is the batter number five. House right back to the top of the order. Runners at first and second as they bring the man across from third on the tag up. Ortiz ready to go. Ball missing outside. The count is 1-0. and oh. We're in the top of the fourth. It's been a battle back and forth here and some big plays. And a pitch on the way. Curveball swing and a miss there. The count goes to 1-1. One and one. So Ortiz gets one back. Simpson's at second, and Brown's over on the first base side. Correction, Smith is over on the first base side. Time is called again, granted at home plate. It's not required that the head umpire grants it, but that's his discretion, and he'll put it back in play. First base side gets pulled foul, and the runners will come back. The count is one and two. Ortiz looking for the out pitch here. House right looking for a knock. A one-two pitch. Ball is low, the count goes to two and two. Curveball, pull foul to the right side. And the two two count holds here on house right. Time is called on the field. Baseball, they'll clear that out. RJ puts it back in play. The 2-2 pitch. And that ball's cut foul into the bullpen down on the third base side. So the 2-2 battle continues here between Ortiz and House Wright with Smith and Simpson at first and second accordingly. Well hit ball to the right side, charging and a good grab. So Murakami will get the out. They strand two, but they pick up one. It's 8-4. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth.
Well, we're ready to go here, getting things started off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Charlie Blaylock will start things off for the prospects. And as Coach Carlos just having a discussion with RJ. And we're ready to go here. Blaylock will step in. Highland Newby, Davis Highland, steps back up. We're ready to go. Ball's outside. The count's 1-0. Laylock, high fly ball in the infield. House right calling for it in the shortstop spot. He'll make the grab. So one pitch, one out here in the bottom of the fourth with Monster Victoria. And the tail will step in. And a ball missing there. The count's 1-0. and oh. And the count goes to 2-0. and oh. So Highland working from behind here. 2-0 count to Victoria. And a ball outside, so a 3-0 count as Victorio disciplined at the plate here in the bottom of the fourth with one out. Prospects leading this one 8-4. And a strike there, taking. And Highland throws the pitch on the inner half, gets the strike called. The count is 3-1. And a strike on the outside. So back-to-back -back strikes thrown for Highland. And the count goes full at three and two. So full count. And low on the barrel right to the third baseman. And Victoria would like to have that back. And two outs like that on the books. Easton O'Quinn will come in with nobody on board here in the bottom of the fourth. And a well hit ball. That's foul to the right side. Good cut for O'Quinn. Gets a piece of it, but fouls it off. The count is 0-1 with two outs. O'Quinn, that will get through. A big backhand, a long throw, a good play, a high throw. And a great effort defensively for House Wright. It looked like it was getting through to his right side in the shortstop position in the six hole. Right, big one. Let's go to work, baby. And a good effort, but O'Quinn will get on board with a single. Trey Lawrence will step in. Two outs, bottom four. And a bot called on Highland, the pitcher, didn't come set. So no pitch, and the bot was called. Chris, the infield umpire called the box. There's no pitch. So RJ gets it cleared up with his infield umpire. We're good. Bach was called. No pitch. Defense ranged up. They back off. Strike on the outside for Lawrence. Count is 
Fastball upstairs. Lawrence lays off. The count goes even to one and one. Highland ready to go here with two outs on the books. A 1-1 count to Lawrence. O'Quinn at second. Curveball in for the strike. And the count is one and two. Ball's outside. Count goes even to two and two. Ball's up, full count. And that ball crushed off the barrel. That's a deep hit to the left side and a ground rule double. As that jumped out, but the run will score. O'Quinn comes across. So well hit ball to the left side. Ground rule double for Trey Lawrence. O'Quinn comes across. They get their ninth here in the bottom of the fourth. Davis, a visit out to the hill. They might be it for Highland. And that's going to do it for Highland. A good job for Newby as he came in here today. Highland came in in the first inning with Nichols hurt his back. And Newby did a fine job for the Astros here, getting through here to the fourth. So pitching change. Coming forth here, number 22 will step up on the hill. You good? What do you need? He's giving me three more. Hey, I got another good one. Three, three. Thanks, Harry. Thank yep. Here's Thank one you. for you, What's RJ. Up? Just a second. Take your time. Crack these babies open. I just don't want the pitch to get away from this guy here. You're standing right oh, in yeah, the zone. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking that way. Thank you. There you go, sir. You good? Yep. Thank you. Yep. He got a single. He got a single. Yeah, he got him more with a single. He beat out the throw from House right down to the first base side. Then after that, Lawrence came in. Victorio, um, I think he struck out, didn't he? I think he did. Verify that. Lawrence got a double in the RBI. Should have nine four, is that what you nine four? Yeah. And a well hit ball. Left fielder backing up. And that ball to the fence line. Here comes Trey Lawrence into two. And in with the double, sliding in head first. And Brody Taylor goes deep to the left side, gets into 
second base and picks up the RBI. Dre Murakami will step in. Trying to clarify a couple of hits previously. Get that worked out with the PG official scorer. Perry doing a good job here this weekend. Murakami ready to go. Breaking ball, low in the zone. The count is 1 and 0. So Connor Adams taking over here for Newby Highland. And a ball swung on, fouled straight back. Count is 1 and 1. Adams right-handed hurler for the club. Two outs on the books. Taylor over at second base and with a double in the RBI. And a ball just missing outside. Connor's arm slot, you look at it, it almost looks like he's throwing a little bit of a sidearm. As he takes a look at second and Brody Taylor, house rights ranged up and rolled off. Pitch on the way. Three one count. When you look at Connor's delivery, you see his arm kind of pull back, drop out, and the arm slot looks like a little bit of a side arm. And he comes back over the top. Back up the middle. House right. Good effort laying it out. Rounding to third. A long throw in. On his way to second. The run will score, and Murakami will get an RBI double. So Aaron Ramirez will step back in. He's got Murakami over at second base as Coach Trey takes his protective gear and he'll step back on to second base. Connor Adams coming in here. Tough situation, ready to go. Ball's back up the middle. That ball's hit hard. And a grab is made deep in center field. AB makes a good grab for the Astros. They'll leave one on board, but they'll move it ahead to 11. It's 11 4. We're through four frames. Stay with us. The championship matchup continues. Well, back to live action, ready to go here in the top of the fifth. Ivan Ortiz stays on the hill for the prospects. So Hoffman, the two-hitter, looks at a strike. The count is 0-1. They go 2-3-4 here in the fifth. Stop foul to the left side and out of play.
And a ball upstairs. Hoffman lays off. Fastball up. And swing and a miss there. So Ortiz will start off with a K. Hoffman will have a C. Bradford, the catcher, will come in, the three hitter. And a ball swung on, fouled off to the right side and out of play. High fly ball. Ramirez under it. And a grab is made. So Aaron Ramirez will pull down the second out for the club. And stepping in, Maddox Porter. And if I didn't say it's nothing but a party, I'd get myself in trouble. That's something part of the family that goes away and back up the middle. So Maddox Porter gets a good hit. Good job, bud. And Porter gets on board with a single. Good job, bud. Go, AB. Keep it going, bud. Ashton Brown will step in with Porter over on the first base side. Fastball outside actually looks like a changeup missing out. Count is one and zero. Oh. Be hitting in the five spot. Ashton plays center field for the club. Grab the last out here in the bottom half of the fourth. We're in the top five. Throw over cross to Brody Taylor. Ortiz gets Porter coming back, just letting him know he's over there. Come on, what? AB locked and loaded, ready to go. Count is one and all. All missing outside, 2 0 count. Curveball. Just missing outside. A.B. lays off. The count's 3-0. Oh. Go three. And a good pitch there. Strike call. Low part of the zone. A.B. taking all the way. And it's a 3-1 count. Porter over on the first base side. Maddox with good speed. Brody Taylor holds him on. Ball swung on, fouled off to the right side and out of play. So the count goes full to three and two on AB Ashton Brown. Two outs, top of five. Sunshine breaking through, a beautiful afternoon here in the East Cobb Complex. Runner on the move, ball four. So Ortiz loses Brown 90 feet down to first base. Tepemeyer will come in, comes in as the DH playing here this afternoon in the six hole. Coach Ronnie having a visit to the hill with Ortiz, slow things down and talk to him for a minute as there is some activity in the pen for the prospects national team. And as I mentioned, it's been an outstanding event put on by Perfect Game here, the 2024 
East Cobb Super Regional NIT. The winner of this event gets the automatic bid into the 2024 PGI National Championship. It's being held at the end of the 24 season. A lot of big events being played throughout the 24 spring summer baseball season. To learn more about where you may be playing next, go to perfectgame.org. Chris Allard with the call here for you throughout the course of this weekend. It's been a beautiful tournament, sunshine, perfect conditions. End up closing things out here in our championship matchup in the 13th division. Sepamar ready to go. Runners at first and second. Brown at first, Porter at second. Ortiz stays on the hill. Ball gets away on the backside of Schuppemeyer, and the count is 1-0. Oh. Ortiz takes a look at second and quarter. Defense is ranged up. Fastball up, gets the strike call. Count goes for 1-1. One one. Come on, Blue. Two outs, prospects playing in defensive positions. Ball's hit the center field. That's going to drop in. And they'll check up Porter. Oh, they got trouble there. They're tied up at the bags now. A.B., they're in trouble. They're going to have to throw there. And the tag is on. The out is recorded. So a broken play there. A.B. was on the move to third. He thought Porter was running from third. And Maddox shut it down. And A.B. kind of collapsed on him, and they held him at third. Porter couldn't move. They threw back to second, and A.B. gets out. So a missed opportunity there for the Astros. Well, we'll head to the bottom of the fifth here. Adam stays on the hill for the Astros. We will be right back. So back to live action, we're ready to roll here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Carter Nash will step in. Prospects here go 8, 9, 10 in the fifth. Adams to deal. Breaking ball in for the strike, good curve ball and some movement there. The count is 0-1. Nash got a double his last at bat. Low on the outside part of the plate. The count goes even to one and one. Prospects leading this one, 11-4 here. And a well hit ball in the gap. Left fielder makes a move, it drops in shallow. And Carter Nash gets on board with a single. So he starts things off for Ivan Ortiz who will step in. RJ puts it in play. Adams works from the stretch. Nash over on the first base side. Strike call. So Ortiz looks at strike one. The count is 0-1. Hyland over on the first base side now. Slow chopper. House right. We'll have to go this way to first. An overthrow. And Ortiz will stay parked at first. House right, an uncanny throw like him. He's usually on the money. And he throws it over the reach of Highland. Nash ends up at third. They've got runners at the corners. With no outs. 
And that'll bring up Mamba, Brian Chu. Highland evens the grass as well as Maddox Porter on the third base side with no outs runner scoring position. They're gonna put Mamba on. They wanna load the bases to get a force anyway. So Mamba gets on board. They give him a free walk. They wanna load the bases here. And Charlie Blaylock will step in. No outs, bases juice for Blaylock. Adams from the stretch, pitch on the way. And he'll start with a strike. Connor, a good pitch there. The count is 0 and 1. Curveball in the outer half. Not a lot of velo, but good movement on the curveball. Charlie, back up. House right. They come back home. So out at home, they get the force there. So they get two outs. Blaylock gets on board with a single, but the runner's out. And Monster Victoria will step in. And a strike in the low part of the zone. So the bases stay loaded with one out here, and the force at home, the out was called. And so out at home call was called by RJ, the head umpire, and Victoria's in the box. The count is 0-1. So Victoria steps back in, RJ puts it in play. And Connor will step off. Adams shuffling around a bit here. The 0-1 pitch on the way. No movement off the bases, everybody stays put. And the count goes to one and one. And a ball outside. The count goes to two and one on Mateo Victoria. And a ball to the right side. That'll drop in. Here comes Ortiz. And Ortiz will score. And Victoria gets on board with a single. So they pick up their 12th there with one out. And that'll do it. So the prospects, they do it here in the bottom of the fifth. The run roll kicks in. So the ZT prospects and a good matchup. The Astros put up a good fight and a good matchup. You get to this point in the tournament, it's well-deserved. So congratulations to both the Astros and, of course, the ZT prospects national team. They win this one. And they'll take the title home. But a great tournament for the Astros. And their coach, Coach Davis, Coach Carlos Avila and his staff, Ronnie, Trey, the entire crew, congratulations to the prospects. They take the title here. The 2024 East Cobb Super Regional NIT brought to you by Perfect Game. My name is Chris Allard. It's been a pleasure making the call throughout the weekend. The players and coaches shake hands. And this one is officially in the books. From Atlanta. They'll move on to the next one. This one's officially closed. For now, we'll say so long from East Cobb, your ZT Prospects, 13U national team, they take the title. The Astros come in second, a fought battle and well played for both sides. Until then, we'll see you throughout the 2024 season.